Good day and welcome back to Coach Green. Today we will be continuing with our beginner fielding series and we're looking at part two today. In this part we are going to be looking at the approach to the ball on the ground, the long barrier and the short barrier. We are looking at all these things because it's important to get into the, the best position possible to pick up the ball off the ground, whether it be with the long barrier or the short barrier. This is going to enable us to restrict the amount of runs that are scored against us and potentially give us that chance to do something special and maybe extract a run out in a game and that could be game changing. In this video, we are going to show you each of the three aspects and how we feel they need to be done. For the approach, we are going to start with a split step. Please look at our previous video on the basics of fielding to see what that is. Then you are going to start approaching the ball with nice long strides from a high upright position. As you get closer to the point where the ball is going to be, you are going to start getting nice and low making sure that your chest is nice and open and that your strides become a bit smaller, enabling you to move into the line of the ball in case there is a bobble in the field or if the ball is slightly off the line that you initially thought it would be. For the next part, we are going to be looking at the long barrier. Basic rundown of what the long barrier is. The one knee is bent and on the ground, extended out with the foot flat, making a long barrier for the ball to get past. The other foot is flat on the ground, in front of that knee, creating a longer barrier making sure that the head is forward and the hands are nice and wide and in front of the body. As you can see here, the ball is going to make contact with the hands a fair distance away from where the body is to make sure that the hands don't hit the knee and bounce the ball away. We are looking for a clean pickup. The long barrier is a slightly more defensive way of fielding where you're trying to stop a boundary or there's no pressure of an extra run or the other time you might use this is if the field is especially bumpy and you're worried that it might bounce past your hands in the other short barrier method because this gives you more surface area for the ball to hit and not go past you. The next part we are going to be looking at is the short barrier. The position you need to get in is nice and low, head close to your hands, hands slightly in front of your foot nice and wide. This enables us to take the ball cleanly there, also allows us to adjust if the ball does bounce funny which if you try and take it behind your eyes if it does something weird off the ground there, you've got no time to adjust. Also making sure that the back foot is virtually in line with your hands, so that if the ball does happen to get past, the back foot is there as an extra barrier. A short barrier, if you will. Looking from the side, we can see that the player is nice and low. Good extension of the hands out in front, head close to the hands, body in an action position, ready to move after the pickup. The short barrier is an attacking piece of fielding. Look to try and cut out time in getting the ball back into either the keeper or the bowler or try and for a direct hit in a run out. This could be the difference between a batsman scoring 100 and you get him out early for 20 or 30 and changing the tide of the entire game. Another important aspect to remember with the short barrier is that the foot at the back is the same foot as your throwing arm. This is going to enable you to release the ball quicker when we get to the throwing point. Thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it or found it useful, please leave a like as this helps us with the YouTube algorithm. Remember to leave us your questions in the comment section below as we do try and answer all of them. Lastly, please consider subscribing to the channel and share it as you see fit.